That's dirty. Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today this video is gonna be short, sweet, and to the point. Um, so hopefully no rambling. <laughs> um, so I wanted to come by and tell you guys what next month's book club book is going to be. I had a really hard decision between a couple books assigning, but I figured either way we will get to all of the books. So if you have not joined the book club already or um, you haven't heard about it or you're new to my channel, um, I started a book club called Soft Covers with K. And um, you can use that hashtag on Instagram. If you use that hashtag, I can find you and we can talk about the book or if you have any questions or anything about the book. The shirt looks so baggy and like I look like I have no form. Anyways, okay. This month for March, we are going to be reading The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. Can I say that? I don't know. A Counterintuitive Approach to Living a Good Life by Mark Manson. So this is what the book looks like. I will leave a link down below in the description box if you would like to purchase it um, off Amazon. I'll let you guys know what it's about. I'll read you a little description. In this generation, defining self-help guide, a superstar blogger shows us that the key to being happier is to stop trying to be positive all the time and instead become better at handling adversity. For decades, we've been told that positive thinking is the key to a happy, rich life. But those days are over. Fuck positivity, Mark Manson says. Let's be honest. Sometimes things are fucked up and we have to live with it. For the past few years, Manson, via his widely popular blog, has been working on correcting our delusional expectations for ourselves and for the world. He now brings his hard-fought wisdom to this groundbreaking book. Manson makes the argument, backed by both academic research and well-timed poop jokes, that improving our lives hinges not on our ability to turn lemons into lemonade, but on learning to better stomach lemons. Human beings are flawed and limited, as he writes. Not everyone can be extraordinary. There are winners and losers in society, and some of it's not fair or your fault. Manson advises us to get to know our limitations and accept them. This, he says, is the real source of empowerment. Once we embrace our fears, faults, and uncertainties, once we stop running from and avoiding and start conf confronting painful truths, we begin to find the courage and confidence we desperately seek. In life, we have a limited amount of fucks to give, so you must choose your fucks wisely. Manson brings a much needed grab you by the shoulders moment of real talk filled with entertaining stories and profane, ruthless humor. This manifesto is a refreshing slap in the face for all of us so that we can start to lead more contented, grounded lives. So, that is the book we are going to read for the month of March. So, like I said, I will leave a description box. I will leave a link below in the description box if you'd like to purchase this through Amazon um, and get two day free shipping. So I will leave that down below. If you have any questions or any suggestions in books or you wanna discuss anything, let me know, shoot it down below, get a hold of me on any of my social media. Otherwise, feel free to please use the hashtag softcoverswithk so I can um, engage with you guys because I would like to know for those of you that are reading the book um, how you are feeling about them so once again March's book is this I'm sorry if you're not into swear words um, or if you're not into this book at all and with this book club I want to let you guys know you can skip months you don't have to do every book you can do whatever you want if you've already read this book obviously you don't need to you know read it again unless you would like to um, and also you can buy it on audiobook so this book has 210 pages so if we have four weeks to read it you need to read 52 and a half pages a week so let's divide that by seven. You need to read seven and a half pages a day to complete this book. So for those of you who do not like to read, AKA like my husband, seven pages a day. Like read a couple in the morning, read a couple 
I mean, you can do it. So if you want to help improve your life, here is a good book for you. And like I said, you don't have to read that many pages a day. Otherwise, buy it on audiobook and listen to it in your car. You Like I said, you don't have to listen to that many pages a day to complete it and to self-improve. As like I said, I will leave the link in the description box if you would like to purchase this book and be a part of the book club. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.